Hello everyone, my name is Bobby Srivastav, and in this episode of Making Lemonade Out of Lemons, Insurance Insider, I have with me Pankaj. And great thing about this video is this is the ITC special. So we're both going to be at ITC. I want to make sure that you guys connect with us. Uh, but before we get started, I'm going to introduce Pankaj. Pankaj, do you want to share a little bit about who you are and what excites you about the insurance industry. Yeah, happy to Bobby. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Pankaj Parashar. I'm the co-founder of Purple Ant, and Purple Ant is a uh, IoT-based SaaS uh, platform uh, for the property insurance industry. Uh, been in the industry for almost 22 years. Uh, 20 of those years were in corporate world, and we launched Purple Ant last year. So fairly new from a startup standpoint, but fairly tenured when it comes to the industry. I think what excites me most about insurance industry, which I completely got into by accident, like my whole life I feel I've made a lot of decisions which are you know, more by accident than by design. I think the part that is, excites me is that it's something which is needed by everyone and yet is not thought about by everyone right everybody doesn't think about you know sort of the uh, insurance product and yet i think there is the aspect of safety and production uh, protection that the that the product offers and that's something which i feel is a great opportunity for us people in the insurance world uh, to try and change that perception of, of what you know insurance is uh, whether that's on the pnc side or life side or health side um, there's a lot that can be done, and I feel that with the changing demographics, people are looking for more value, right? So that's really something that I feel very excited about these days, at least, and, and, and seeing how Purple Land could be a small part of that transformation. Absolutely. And I'm excited because I got my package recently, so I'm excited to be using one, be one of your beta customers. So uh, exciting news for you, uh, Pankaj. So tell us about a time when lemons were thrown at you and how did you turn that to make lemonade? Yeah, I think, you know, I, you can think of so many moments in life when, you know, there are adversities that you face and um, you got to look at it as a, as an opportunity. I think I'll probably mention a couple here, right? So first one was very early on in my career when, my in my very first job, I was actually, you know, I had I went through my orientation, was was told that I'm gonna go in a certain geography to sell a certain product, and yet when the time came, um, they told me to go into a completely new geography to sell a completely different or or new product that I knew nothing about, right? So wow. here I go, land in the territory, and as a as a new new salesperson, uh, had to figure out what to do. And uh, completely by accident, I just decided to go meet the first prospect that came to my, that came in front of me. And I diligently simply wrote down all the questions they asked me. And I, to each one of the questions I said, I will get back to you, sir, very, very politely. Came back, took those questions and said, well, those, I need to get answers, you know, to those questions. And really, uh, I mentioned that because that's been one of my takeaways very early on, which is, you know, you learn from the situations, you learn from your customers, don't hesitate to take risks and just go ask and seek help and ask questions. Um, and, and you can just always then figure out a way to get answers. And, and you get those answers from people around you or ask the people around you to tell you who might have those answers, right? So I've kind of taken that, uh, attitude with me since then. Um, so that was one that came to mind. I think the second one that comes to my mind is when I came into this, into this country and I just had this situation where I had a, I had a manager, right. Who was not very, uh, was happy with the, the decision that the company had made and kind of put a lot of constraints on me. So here I am new to the country, new to the system, new to the industry with a lot of pressure to perform. And I think I looked at that situation and once again said, you know what, I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to figure out things for myself, right? So I pictured myself with my back to the wall with the world closing in and I said, you know, I'm gonna do something every day to keep that wall away. 
And, and so, uh, you know, that was something which uh, I just, again, it is a question of attitude and a set of actions that, you know, result from your desire to simply not let uh, that situation get over you, right? And I found myself within, I think we, we, I was able to get a client and a contract within five months of that time, and which is, un, which is very, very aggressive, as you know, as an insurance professional, yeah. to get a company to, you know, to, so anyway, so that was a, sort of the, another incident, which I remember as one where I was, you know, under, under a lot of adversity, but, but sort of came out, came out on top. Uh, and I can go on and on, Bobby. I tell you, every, <laughs> every, every engagement I've, I've had, there's always been adversity and there's always a learning from it, but I'll stop here. No, this is great. I mean, what I loved about your examples is how you've taken this opportunity to learn from it, as well as not be this person that knows it all. Nobody in our industry and any industry <laughs> wants to be a know-it-all. Uh, I mean, I think that's the uh, quickest way to close a sale and to get people that will shut down. Uh, uh, you've got to have an open mind and a, and a humble approach to, to sales or to any interactions with with customers or with people in general. Yep, yep. I would say that those are not just professional lessons, but life lessons, right? I think yeah. I've tried to follow that, you know, in, in personal life too. So I, the way I see it is if you grow, you know, go from a perspective of I know nothing, you know, uh, you'd have, you'd always be the underdog, right? Because yeah. you're not yourself expecting anything to happen. And if by chance you are able to now get to some result, it's always a positive, right? It's, it's just a good, uh, good way to think about uh, dealing with situations. So for you, you've been in the industry, you now have an insure tech. What, what, what advice would you give to new industry professionals or folks that are trying to get into this insure tech space? Yeah, I would say, first of all, say that this is a great time to be in the insure tech space. I think the the and especially with our community at insners one of the things that we're trying to change is this perception right that insure yeah. insure tech is pretty cool we can give all kinds of data around how insure tech has uh, attracted the biggest you know investment in in a long long time and the investment in insure tech is more than blockchain b2b right any of the other sectors that you think for a reason right because there yeah. is this you know industry that's really not changed much, but at the core of it is an in industry that just is about data. It's about risk assessment, risk management, all related to data. And data is is the new air, right? As they say, is the, it's 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 the it's the technology which is now becoming the business. And so I think that's the beautiful opportunity that we have. And there's uh, the other advice I would tell them is that there are a lot of re resources available to them today right to feel uh, welcome into the industry right and and and, and you know uh, yeah. we both uh, you you're going to the the gamma day the insurance day where you're going to meet a lot of uh, new ex, you know uh, students who want to venture into this industry i had that experience last year it was pretty transformative and it's really excited to see the people wanting to be actuaries wanting to be data scientists um, so i would say that reach out don't hesitate to uh, ask anyone, especially if they have no hair or white hair, or <laughs> you know, uh, to ask. Don't questions. let the hair fool you. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say that that's my advice. I right? know this just is just is the advice I would give my younger self, which is go for asking questions and and try to you know I the only I shouldn't say regret, but the one thing that I would do differently is try this entrepreneurial startup. Uh, thing way earlier in my life, right? So as opposed to waiting 20 years. So, you know, don't be afraid to to join a startup and an insure tech, which will value your talents and accept for who you are and, and care for the outcome, right? So I, I, I'm really excited. I've had the opportunity to interact with a few of the interns. And I'm, I can't tell you, Bobby, I'm, I'm blown away with how talented they are right? They're at the age of 16 or 18 or 20. And I compare that to what their perspective is so mature, so sensible. Uh, and like I said, I, I feel very, very uh, positive in, in, in what I see as talent with them, right? So our future is certainly, certainly bright and safe. Yeah. The key is 
having giving them the opportunity to experience insurance and not be insurance be so boring as as most commonly that that is the perception but i i totally agree like the insurance nerds days that's coming up uh, next saturday those are the events that really energize and bring in a lot of the younger younger folks and then expose them to a lot of the insurance uh, to the whole spectrum whether you're a newbie in the insurance space or you're a veteran so they could at least see what the path looks like so i'm excited think, this might this will be my first time uh, attending that that session yeah yeah absolutely i mean i look our tagline for purple land is that we want to help carriers you know help the homeowners fall in love with the insurance companies that's a bold vision because <laughs> i just i really believe there is that opportunity right yes the perceptions are that it's exactly the opposite but i think there is an opportunity today to create that additional value and you know have that alignment of the outcome and objectives that both you know homeowners and business owners and property owners or whoever seeks insurance with the with the with the carriers and you know themselves so um yeah i'm super excited great so you're so both of us are going to be at itc Pankaj will be there. I'll have all of his contact information in as part of this YouTube video and I'll put it in the YouTube description as well. I'll be there with Benikiva. We'll have a booth K70. So we're looking forward to seeing you, uh, everybody. And thank you, Pankaj, once again. And until next time. Thank you. See you soon. Take care.